All right, so we have the Reptazoo Snagnum Moss here. This is a 200 gram package. It comes in these two little, I don't know, bars, I guess you could say. Um, then, you know, you toss it into a bucket, you add 1.5 liters of water, and then it's supposed to, you know, turn into Snagnum Moss, right? Um, it does seem super compressed. It come, I do like the fact it comes in two bars, so you don't have to use it all at once. Now, I do have some other Reptazoo products, and they've been pretty good. So I was curious to see how this goes. It's a little bit cheaper than what I usually buy. Um, I'm just kind of curious. The Right off the bat, though, the thing that I think bothers me the most for something so sustainable, uh, they wrap this thing in plastic, and then they wrap it again in plastic, and then they wrap it again in plastic. Um, come on guys, let's not do that, okay? There's no, there's no use in that. Uh, anyways, so it recommends tossing it in the bucket. I'm not doing that. I took a, uh, I think these are 2.5 gallon, you know, Ziploc bags. I've tossed it into a jar here. And that way, when I put the water in, I can, I can just use this moss. I don't have to worry about digging it out of a bucket. I don't have to worry about any of that crap, right? It's in a bag, a Ziploc, done. So, uh try to break it in half it didn't break but it fits down in my jar it's really not that big of a deal 1.5 liters of water it does recommend warm water this isn't warm water this is just room temperature water it's only been out of the tap for maybe 10 minutes I'm not really sure the whole deal with the warm water maybe it absorbs it better uh, maybe it evaporates better um, not not really sure what they're going at we're just gonna leave it alone and we're gonna see how this goes but yeah look look at all this plastic Come on guys, this is just too much trash for a little bit of moss. There's no use in it. And then you, you gotta hold another bar of trash, right? Uh, but right off, I can already tell that's expanding really fast. Um, let's just sit here for a second, see how long it takes, see what it looks like. So it's been like three minutes and this water is almost completely absorbed. It's probably the quickest I've ever had moss absorb water. Uh, it usually takes a whole lot longer than this. Um, there's a little bit still left in the bottom. It's really not that big of a deal. But let's take a look at this to see what the quality of the moss actually is itself. Uh, let's see what the sticks look like. I can already tell there's something in there. But let's, let's just take a look. I'm going to pull you a little bit closer. You be the bird's eye view. Uh, it's definitely soft. Uh, there's not a whole lot of debris in it. Um, I'm rel relatively impressed. Uh, nothing to be concerned with. Just dig through it here some. Look around. Don't really see too many sticks and this not that obviously isn't moss um it appears to be a wire tie i don't know why there's a wire tie in here but you know it happens i don't like the fact it's metal it was in my moss but what can you do um dig around a couple of little sticks Nothing really, nothing I would be concerned with. Nothing that's really unusual. What I was really wanting to see was the amount of sticks in it. Uh, and there's not really that many. Here or there, nothing to be concerned about. It's definitely good quality moss. De definitely absorb quickly. I'm pretty shocked by that. But yeah, it's uh, it's not too bad. Kind of impressed. Good job, Reptazoo.